a castle rock scenario, says Joseph. I think we did. I don't. Uh, possibly. But, um. I don't know. Have a look. Uh, find me a castle rock scenario and I'll do another one. I'm not fussy. So over here, I've placed all the wagons. So here they are. Right, moving on. <laughs> these are fantastic, these wagons. They really are. So each one comes. Uh, so these. So the, the first two packs. So this one, which is the. Uh, the KIJLS wagons. Uh, comes in f uh, A, B, C, and D variants, so it's all, so this, this one of them. Then there's this one, which you can see is rather more beaten and so forth. Then you've got this one, a little bit cleaner. And then you've got this one, which looks like it's more more pristine. Oh no, that's a DB version, so you've got two Raelions and two DBs. Um, and then it also comes with one which will dynamically and automatically um, uh, applied. So I'm going to do some of that in a minute, just to show you how you use that. Uh, but so there's four regular wagons. Those are the KIJLS wagons, and then you got these ones. And I can never remember how you pronounce these. They say these names. So where you find? Where is it? There it is. It is the um, oh T A D G S. There it is. So again, there are four. Uh, where is the other one? So let's start at the beginning. So you got the just DB Cargo one, which has uh, got weathering on it. You've got this DB Cargo, which has got less weathering on it. Uh, this DB one, which um, I don't know if that's supposed to be rust or if that's coloured, but uh, yeah, that's uh, that's in a pretty bad state. And then you've got this one. Oops. There's lots of really nice detail on these wagons, actually. Exactly as you'd expect from VR, of course. And then the third wagon pack, which is the one that was just released today, is the EAOS X wagons. It occurred to me that I could try and pronounce those, but then I realised that was absurd. So I'm just going to say the letters. Um, <coughs> there you go. So this is the first one of those. Um, that's the second one. So there's three versions of this wagon. I've put five of them out here because of the load and unload. So you've got this one, which has got a load of um, scrap cubes. Uh, and then you've got these, which I've got the unloaded versions. Uh, and then the loaded versions, one of them has coal, and one of them has scrap. Um, so there was a question, actually. Steam Chains, does the Taj come with also with the old DB logo? Uh, that's these ones, isn't it? So there's, yeah, there's... These are the four that it comes with. So there's this one. This one. And then the DB Cargo. Two versions thereof. Um, is there any other questions I'm missing before we move on? Uh, Victor, can you also show where I find the BR420 in the editor? You, In order to show the 420, you need to open up the provider Influenzo. And then you'll be able to see it. Right, so the other thing that uh, these wagons come with is an auto place. In fact, I think all three of them do. Um, so that you can actually randomly pick which one it is. So normally, what you would do... So let me go into the editor. Uh, normally what would happen is you'd go into scenario mode. This is just a free roam. Um, don't worry too much about that. Uh, let me turn the camera off. We don't need that right now. So let's turn that and that. And then that and that. Are we gone yet? Yay, we're gone. Right. Um, so, normally when you're in the wagon selection here, you've got these ones, like the A, B, C and D, so you'd normally place it um, and the way you would normally place a wagon. But you've also got this one that's called Random Skin, which is quite quite clever actually. It's very simple, but it does the job. So I just place it and what you'll find is that they're actually all different. Well, potentially. They all seem to be the same. There you go, look, there's a DB one. Different DB ones. And there's some weathered ones. So basically, when the wagon is instanced, it'll, random, it'll randomly pick one. So if I just... if I So that you can see it a bit further away. If I click it... You can see the different ones do get appeared. They didn't that time, but... 
So just by clicking them, you can get a train of different wagons. So again, you've got that with the uh, TADGS. What have we got here? Yeah, so we've got DB Cargo. Oh, here they go. Oh, some of them have changed. It <laughs> took them a little while to change. So those are two different ones. So you've got different ones just using the uh, the random uh, the random element of it. Um, okay, um, and then there was the EA uh, OS. So you've got uh, so you and you've got this uh, scrap random skin. These two um, here. So these ones basically, when you deploy them, they will put a different skin down potentially. Um, and let's put coal ones down and come back and have a look at those when they've updated. Right. So what have you got here? Raelions. Are they different or am I imagining it? They are different, aren't they? Because this has got more on the top there than that one does. So they are different. So there's uh, there's variations of weathering and so forth, which is really cool. It means that when you make your trains, they're going to have a slightly different look to them. Uh, and then the same over here, we've got slightly different variations on them. And then of course, once you've done that, you can uh, do this. And um, load them all. Right. So I think uh Joseph says how long does it take a uh to make a wagon pack? Um generally not too long to be honest. Uh a couple of weeks, possibly, three weeks, maybe a month. Depends on what you're doing in a wagon pack. Just making a wagon isn't too difficult. Steam Train says how do you use the green, red, blue favourite buttons? Um I don't know. Um the quick lists, red, green and blue. So I'm not sure. Oh, you click that, don't you, to get back? So if I click that, add it. No, <laughs> I'm just guessing at this point. Uh, okay, so I'm right clicking. So if I bring up, so the uh, say the one four six and uh, this these two. If I right click on that and right click on that, and then go green. No, red. Oh, they've gone into red. So let's go into green and then come back and then do the kills wagons. Right click on each of them, go back to green. No, nope. ah, they've gone to red as well. In which case I don't know how to do that then. So you right click to remove it off there. And they've gone back on there as well. So um, I'm not entirely sure how you use that function. I, sh I shall go and have a look. Um, I think one of the reasons it doesn't really get used a lot because because for example these favourites they're favourite basically quick list you can put collections of assets onto them so if you're route building you can put all your common signals or the common building sets that you're using a bit like a paint a paint an artist palette um, and then you can set those up but they don't get persisted between sessions which means you effectively have to reset them up every time um, but uh, I'll, I'll try and do another tutorial on that later on but hopefully just knowing that you have to right click on things might make life a bit easier for figuring out what you've got to do okay so that was a quick look at the wagons that have just been released they're three separate packs they're all individually on uh, marketplace I think they're 2 99 each um, pounds um, Joe says uh, why do I have a BR120 there why not <laughs> well, why not have a BR120 there Let's call it um, subliminal advertising, shall we? Uh, Victor, uh, I can't go the whole hog because um, I can't. I've got too much stuff on here. But if I, what you want to do is look for influenzo here, uh, and when you click influenzo, then you've got all the BR420s in here. So you can uh, click BR420, click back to consists, and there is a BR420. 
There you go. Hopefully that answers your question. <coughs> How do you use the AI spawn point in scenario creation? Stephen Jam, you can't use the AI spawn point in scenario creation. That is for quick drives. Uh, and if you go and have a look at the quick drive YouTube tutorial, that will help you um, figure out what's going on and how you use make that. Okay. Right. I think that's enough for now. Uh, if you've got other things that you want to see in tutorials, can you drop a note on the um, Steam group discussion forum and uh, let me know so that I can put together another sort of proper tutorial thing. What? Sorry. What is the paintbrush under toggle instructional? What paint? I don't know what you mean, <coughs> Joseph. Um, yeah, so if you've got any questions that you want me to answer, then I will um, I will put together another sort of batch tutorial thing like I've done in the past. Okay. Right now, moving on to scenario number two. Um, 